Hey guys, it's me, Sydney, and excuse my ratchetness. Um, I'm just trying to get everything together or oh, not, but I wanted to come to you guys with a really quick video um, on something that I feel like would be uh, much appreciated for all of the people who wear weave. I can't even say all the ladies because both males and females wear weave and more power to you if you do. Um, but we spend a lot of money on weave, you know, it can cost anywhere from 150 to, you know, 300 plus dollars, not including installation, uh, when we get our, our hair weave or whatever you want to call it. Um, and one of the major things that happens is, um, the hair will start off really nice and it'll look really pretty and, um, you know, just full of, of everything that you've ever wanted. And then, you know, a few weeks in, it'll be a rat -a -tat -it, matted mess and I feel like that's what happened to me so I researched and researched and researched um, what I could do to kind of bring this hair to life because I wore it for literally four weeks exactly and um, about the third week or so I would say about two and a half to three weeks um, this hair just started being matted and there was nothing that I can do you know like I washed it and um, just kept my regular routine that I had when I first got it and it still would not like do what I wanted to do it would always write up and everything else so um like I said I researched some different things and kind of put everything together into my own little mix and I was able to take my weave from this this is the closure but this literally a hot mess um to this so pretty much back to the way it was when I bought it and I'll try to zoom in but it's literally not tangled I can run my fingers through and it has sat on this for all day uh, basically 24 hours um, and just air dried and and everything's everything so um, the things that you'll need today is Bragg apple cider vinegar um, I got this from um, the Whole Foods store, but I think you can pick up some from either Walmart or Kroger. Um, you're going to need a variety of combs. I use this shower comb that I got from the dollar store for a dollar. I use my dimming brush, and it does have hair in it, so excuse me. Um, but this is basically a detangling brush. Um, you can purchase it off of Amazon, Sally's, or anything like that. Um, I got mine with my hair kit when I went to um, college, blah, 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 cosmo, cosmetology school. Can't talk to that. Um, another just regular comb, and I'll explain why you need all these different combs and stuff. And this one has her in it too, so sorry. Um, you'll need uh, something to detangle with. I know that this says um a heat protector but i actually use all the heat protector and i use it as water because i like the spray it's like can you see this it's like a perfect little mist it, it doesn't drench it or anything like that so i just kept the bottom um you'll need a ziploc bag and then of course your i'm actually your um shampoo and conditioner of your choice i use this tea tree shampoo and conditioner um, who is this by? I don't know who this is by, but they have a whole bunch of different ones, and you can get those definitely from any store, Target, Walmart, Kroger, anywhere. So, um, I'm going to be coming to you guys with the video of the steps, and, um, I'll just explain to you what you need each comb and what you need to do for each thing um, in the video. So if you want to figure out how to restore your weave, then um, continue watching. Bye. Hey guys, so depending on the way that your hair was installed, um, you may take out long pieces or you may take out short pieces. Um, and they also might be single weft or double weft. Um, being that I personally installed my own hair, I double wefted and I also um, don't cut my weft. So this one is a bit longer and it's doubled. But um, <clears throat> the first thing that you want to do 
in this restoring process is take your water and literally spray the hair. You want to get a nice amount of water on here to make it easier to detangle. Um, and you also want to do it on both sides. Some people add like an oil to their water. I feel like that is literally just adding more buildup, but to each his own. If you feel like you want to add oil, be my guest, but I don't. Um, then I want to take my shower comb, the big wide tooth comb, and start from the bottom and then work my way up. Okay guys, once you get finished detangling with your uh, wide tooth comb, you want to go in with your dimming brush and actually get the tops of the wefts and you know just comb through. You want to use this fine tooth brush or your smaller wide tooth comb to really get the top of the weft down to the bottom. Um, sometimes Demon brushes don't do well with uh, tangles and knots and stuff, which is why I also have this comb. Um, so I switch in between the two depending on how tangled it is um, and how, um, how well it does when I go to the very top. So this is all right, so this is the hair combed out and fully detangled. Um, our next step is to go in with a apple cider vinegar bath. Now, um, apple cider vinegar has a few great effects on skin, on hair. Um, one of the things is that it is like a clarifying wash and it really pulls out all of those um, hidden residues that your shampoo doesn't get when you wash. So you're going to see me put this hair in and the water is going to start off clear. And I kid you not, you will have a ring around your um, sink or, you know, if you want to use a bow around your bow from the residue that's built up on this hair that you never knew was on there. And me personally, I wash my hair on a routine. I did it every Sunday just to kind of make sure that it was clean throughout the week. And then if I felt like I needed a co-wash on like Wednesday or Thursday, I always did a co-wash on Wednesday or Thursday. Um, and so I know for a fact that I've cleaned this hair and that's why I was really amazed when I used it. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that. So just stay tuned. Okay, so I'm trying to get a good um, angle for you to see how this water looks after I gave it a three minute bath in apple cider vinegar. Um, I mean, I think this is gonna be the best, but of course you can see that ring around my sink. And you can see like, you know, residue, and you can see it's pretty murky. It doesn't look nearly as brown as it does, you know, an actual, I guess you can say, upon me seeing it where I am versus where you are with the camera. But it it looks brown, you know, there's no doubt that it's brown. And not because the apple cider vinegar is brown, but I feel like because of the um, leftover residue and things like that. So what I'm about to do is go in with my shampoo, shampoo twice. Um, and just run the shampoo straight down the hair. Um, let the water run through it, you know, um, and not like scrunch it up or anything. Just run the shampoo straight down, let the water run down, and you know, let it flow in the direction that the hair flows so that it doesn't get tangled back up again. Um, and then I'll be back after I finish shampooing. So after I shampooed, I went and did my conditioner the exact same way that I did my shampoo and I placed it in this Ziploc bag, which we are going to place in the microwave for 30 seconds. When you put it in here, you just want to sit it in no certain fashion or form. You know, just sit it in here, suck the air out so it doesn't pop in the microwave and you know, just make sure that it's still real tight and we're going to go for 30 seconds. I'm taking the hair out of 
the bag and it's still hot to the touch so just give it like a minute or two to kind of cool down and then you just want to rinse it off with cold water and then hang it to dry and um, make sure that you detangle it when you hang it up so that it doesn't dry tangled and bunched up so um, I'm getting ready to do that and then I will be back with a picture of the installation bye thanks for watching Alrighty, and there you have it. So, um, I actually let my hair air dry. I did not blow dry it. I did not apply any heat to it. I just uh, put it on a hanger and placed the clip on top of it to allow it to dry for a full 24 hours. And the pictures that you are looking at are literally of me this time the next day. Um, I had went out to a concert and I installed that same closure um, and that same hair and I had no problems with the hair after I gave it that apple cider vinegar bath. So, um, as of right now I can't say if this is something that I might have to do every time I um, uninstall this hair but um, it did great and I may do it every time I uninstall it who knows but it worked out great for me and I hope it works out great for you and um, if I come up with any more tips or tricks then I will definitely let you know bye